down guys so this week on the phantom cave youtube channel we're going to be having a look at one of few's one of few's latest phantom comics and today's review is of let me get it up triumph of the evil so just to start off with it's amazing amazing wraparound cover by Luca Berta. Let me just get this around. Look at that. That's amazing. So cool. So very cool. So basically what happens in the story is that it's a Don Newton artwork. It's an old Charlton story. And this, one of these old Charlton, Charlton stories, I've actually read it before, but it hasn't actually became a thing where we say it in um, Fuse comics, Fuse Phantom comics, as we've seen in the last, what, couple, couple of years. I, I technically, I haven't actually seen Triumph of Evil. That's probably why it's been making its first appearance in Australian, or Australian The Phantom comics. So, this has beautiful, beautiful Don Newton artwork. And the next comic to come out after this issue is number 1894, the Rondian column, which I have, I have right here. And that's an, another comic that we're going to be reviewing soon on the YouTube channel. So, Triumph of Evil, it's got artwork by Don Newton, the legendary Don Newton. He's amazing at what he does. He's painted, original painted covers. And actually, I have a big collection of his stories and his artworks in one of, well, a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of collectors may have this book. And I'm going to show it to you right now. And you may guess what it is. You may guess what it is. It is Don Newton's Complete The Phantom. And he obviously, he did, he was basically one of the artists that completes, he was basically one of the artists on the Phantom comic book stories created by Charlton Comics between 1975 and 1977. He also had, he also had an appearance in DC Comics he had he did like a couple covers for DC, I think, and those are back basically back in the seventies or eighties. Uh, we also this book features the stories from issues 67, 68, 70, 71, 73, and seventy four. Also presented in this, also presented in this is an exhaustive biography that has been done on the artist's career with the representative examples of his art from four fanzines, comics and illustration, as well as an interview with Newton's son called Tony, which is a pretty good book to have in your collection. Now let's get into this story. The writer of this story is called Joe Gill. The artist, as I've been saying, is Don Newton, and the editor for it is George Wildman. So in this story, we have basically it's it's basically we see the death of the twentieth Phantom and the rise the rise of the twenty first Phantom on his taking his basically getting rid of these German Empire um, guys. I'll be showing you some panels of the artwork right now look at it so very damn good and that i think that panel there actually it's where we see the phantom nearly so the phantom the 20th phantom dies in this um comic because of old age and basically him not being able enough be him not being able for the fitness ability of like a normal phantom so he's basically his old age and they the german people they think that they can take this land off the natives but the phantom's not going to have any of it so one of the generals of the from the germans 
they basically they trick the phantom they basically treat him like some sort of dog and he gets captured the phantom then takes a couple of hits the phantom basically thinks he's all down and then there's a resurgence and then we also have an ad for the phantom messenger bag phantom messenger bag you can now get that if you're not a subscriber to the phantom through mail service you can get the messenger bag just for sixty dollars including shipping uh, from Australia only and you can get that at the phantom online shop at www.phantomcomic.com.au or you can phone 0292618122 and this phantom messenger bag it it comes it it's very ideal for people that are going to supernova and supernova is only what it's this weekend so it's a very good sort of bag you can take it to supernova you can basically take it you can put your comics in it you can put nearly anything in it and or you can leave it in your collection and let it what gather dust or be in mint condition when you sell it so yeah it's pretty cool now we get back to the story the phantom you actually see his eyes i guess this is part two, Death of a Legend. The Phantom's basically beaten. And this is obviously the 20th Phantom. We're not into the 21st Phantom yet, as of yet. And we see his eyes in the first panel on the 17th page of this book. I'm just going to show you. There it is. So cool. What else we got in here? He gets shot in the back. The pygmies are very worried. They send a letter to the 21st Phantom, a, a future 21st Phantom. He then, the 21st Phantom then carries on from where his father left off. The 21st Phantom scares the hell out of people um, and basically disarms them. And the story sort of ends with an all-out battle of the um, story and the phantom and the pygmies they help each other the fan the 21st phantom then takes the mantle of the phantom and by then we see the phantom and diana joining in just a um usual hug There. So the other story we have today is the Phantom, the Phantom of the Future Forever. And the story is actually done by Andrew Consonant. The art is done by Massimino Gambolet. The lettering is done by Frank Schultz. And the edit of this is done by Glenn Ford. And this sort of story we were actually going to see this i'll show you the couple of the first page panels this actual story we were actually going to see in the saga of the vultures we we're actually going to see this story in part three of the saga of the vultures which we did not see and we have been waiting a couple of months for this story so i sort of think I've been saying this to myself. I sort of think this story, it's a good story, great art. I'll show you again what the art looks like. It's great art. And what I think of this story, it sort of has that sort of Charlton story. It's a what if story. So that's where I'm getting in it. And that's, I guess this is pretty cool. The story obviously is pretty cool. It's one of the future phantoms, and they base the future phantom of one of the future phantoms actually quite miraculously gets the 20th phantom, but it's not your usual 20th, 21st phantom. It is a future robot. That's, that's pretty damn cool. I, I like it. But 
This story, I feel like it's sort of one of those stories where it's a Charlton story. It feels, it gives that oomph, that oomph of, it feels like a Charlton story. It just feels like a Charlton story. It just feels like a Charlton story to me. It's so cool in retrospective how the art complements the story and all of that. And Massimo Gambale, you've done a great job on it. Just look at that final piece of art. Look at it. So very damn good. And that, I was just, I'm just, I'm just basically, I'm looking at the piece of art. And the third panel, the last ever panel, it sort of, it reminds me of a story that I reviewed early this, early, either early this year or later that last year. So it reminds me of a story, a what if story written by probably um, Ray Murphy and also done by, I think, uh, I can't remember who the artist is, but it feel back in 2001, I'll be saying this, back in 2001, we had a story that would break all records in story-wise, and it was basically in What If Story, and I'll be putting the image up on the screen right now, and that last panel, I'll show you it again, it just gives that awe, and it gives that inspiration of what I'm actually thinking of right now. So very cool. So, and the last, oh, do you? No. The last ad for this week's video is, if you would like to get the Phantom Treasures of Drake on board, official Fuse, first official Phantom board game, you can get it now. It is now available at all it's now available at your own, at the best comic book site in the world. It's an exclusive first print run only, and you can get it at phantomcomic.com.au now. Yeah. Look at those covers. Very damn good. Good job, Luca. Good job. Now, where are we going to get this? I'm. If you would like to support Phantom Cave, and if you would like into depth Phantom reviews, Phantom interviews with creators from all works of life, if you would like every single angle covered by m myself, the Phantom Cave of Phantom Cave viewers. You can subscribe down below, hit that like button, and as always, don't forget to comment down below your suggestions on future videos and what you thought of this comic book. Don't forget to comment on this comic book whatever what you thought was good about it and what you thought was bad about it. So, as always, keep Phantom Caving, and we'll see you next time on the Phantom Cave YouTube channel.